Today, we're going to be talking about an orthographic projection. And once again, I'm going to start off with the definition. And it's an orthographic projection is a means of representing a three-dimensional object in two dimensions. That sounds familiar to the uh, one-point and two-point perspective. Uh, the difference here is it's usually shown by uh, showing different views at the same time. So what do I mean by this? Uh, let's look at an example of a 3D object. And I make a simple L. I made an L out of blocks. Three down and one up. That's an L. All right. And I'm going to show the different views of this L at this in one picture to give you an idea of how to build it. Um, what I'm going to show is I'm going to show a top view, a front view, and a side view. Usually it's three views at once. You could also show uh, multiple views. If I want to do another view, I could use the other side view and I'd put it here. And, it, and if I wanted to show the bottom view, I would put it here. You will notice, well, if I'm looking at the top, what dimensions do I, I know how long it is and I know how wide it is, right? So basically, you get a length and a width. We're going to do more of this. Don't worry. I'm not going to go too fast. So you get you get how length and how wide the, if you're looking at it from the top. View. Does that make sense? If I'm looking at it from the front, I'm going to that's going to be from here. So I'm only I'm going to get oh wait I can still get the width or excuse me I, or get the depends on which way we look at it we'll get the I'm gonna get one dimension this way but I'm gonna add I'm gonna get a height dimension so uh, maybe I get the length I get this same dimension See, it's gonna match my top view but now I get a height dimension and if I look at it from the side it's just like turning it so so here's it here it is I'm looking at it from the front and if I look at it from the side I get the same height dimension, but now I get a the width dimension, which should correspond to this width dimension. So this, but uh, the same height would be here. But now my width is going to look like that. Okay, so now let's start drawing. What I have added is a designation that call, and I've put an arrow down, and I'm going to call this the front. All right. It I could have easily just said this was the front and this was the side, but we'll call this the front. Of course, the top's easy, the bottom's easy, and this would be the left side of the object, but viewed from the right. Okay. So I'm going to use graph paper to make my drawings. The first one I want to draw is the top view. And of course, the top view is looking straight down. This is the easy one for you to look at it. It is two blocks right next to each other. So two blocks. One, two. All right. And then if I look at it from the front, so that's that. I'm going to turn it like this for you, and you can you can see. Now, from the front, I see one, two, three blocks straight up. You know, because I can't tell the depth, but I do see three blocks. One, two, three. I could put a line right there because actually this one is closer to me and that was not and maybe I shouldn't have put a line right there so uh, that's probably a good idea maybe I shouldn't put a line in that one now the side view will look like this that will be my L shape one two three 
these three together make a drawing or a an image that possibly we could go out and build. That, along with, sometimes you see something like this. And they put a three and a one. That's kind of like a floor plan of how to build this. In this case, it means that's three blocks high and that's one block high. Stack them like that and there you have it. All right, so let's do another one. For our second shape, I've got some more blocks. Uh, right now you can see the top view and the top view looks like an L. I'll give you the floor plan even. This is three blocks. This is one block. This is one block. And here are two blocks. Now, the floor plan by itself is not enough to build it. But we will make the orthographic drawing to help us. Top view looks the same as the floor plan. However, there is an elevation change here, so I'll put a line there. There's an elevation change here. I'll put a line there. There's no elevation change between these two blocks. All right, now we go to the front view. I'll put my, my arrows right there. So it's looking at this, the front, and the front view looks like this. Has the same width as before, three blocks. actually makes an H. All right, it's easy when you can see that you can't see the model. There's an elevation change actually here, I can tell. There's no elevation change in this, so I'm not going to put any lines in there. All right, and notice that the top view and the front view the, the shape did not shrink or, or swell, right? They all lined up. And so, likewise, I'm going to make this side view. When I turn it to its side, I'm going to turn it to this side here. Boom. It's going to have the same height. I'll put it right here. And then the elevation change happens betwe between these two blocks right here are closer to us, and that block, that yellow block, is further back. So there you have it. There's the top, front, and side view. And actually, it's the right side of the object, if that's the top, top, front, excuse me, left side of the object, viewing it from the right. So that's the left side. Now for isometric drawings. Isometric drawing is having the same horizontal edges of an object drawn at a 30 degree angle and the vertical projection perpendicular from a horizontal base. All lines draw being drawn to scale. That 30 degrees, that's kind of a drafting thing. So, but, but it's a really nice, uh, easy number because we have these triangles that have a 30 degree angle. And what it means is if here is a horizontal, like your horizon line, 30 degrees there, this one also is 30 degrees, this one in the back is 30 degrees. So, in fact, all these lines will be parallel. Likewise, these lines will be parallel. It's very easy to draw this way. And, and the vertical lines, of course, are all parallel too, running vertical. As a matter of fact, you might know how to make an isometric drawing from grade school. You have a square, you keep the same square if you were able to draw it at a 30 degrees in a 30 degree angle. I will paint all over this. And you connect the edges. That actually is an isometric drawing also. Notice that the vertical lines should all be vertical, all, all parallel. 
these lines, because I moved it over and, and maintained the square, would all be parallel. And uh, of course, these should also be parallel. That's another way of doing it. Uh, it's not keeping the 30 degree angles for all lines. It's, see, this one has horizontal verticals. This shows the top face better. So we're going to go looking at something similar to this. Don't worry, you don't have to use a triangle because I have this paper. It's called isometric dot paper. And the lines, if you turn it to landscape, the dots are actually at a 30 degree angle. So if we want to make a cube, there's a face right there. You connect these dots and make another face. And if you connect these two, you have a cube. Looks very similar to the one that I made with my triangles. Okay, so let's continue this and make the L that we started off with. That is my first cube right there. And then it's got three cubes behind it. So now this is the base, it goes two back. From here it goes one, two, three up. One, two, three up. From here it's also one, two, three up. And connecting that line right there there across gives me this face. This face is only two because one is hidden. One, two. Connect these dots, gives you this face. And then, of course, the top is here. A trick to doing this is color in the faces which are parallel. So we're going to color in this face be all the same color and possibly well you maybe oh maybe we'll do the top we'll do the top here and here and these two are fairly low and now that looks more like the L well what about our other one let's draw that one too it's gonna have I like starting with a piece that's sticking out or the furthest or closest to you you can start anywhere you could start right here but I prefer start uh, on blocks that are coming out. Okay, so let's start with the yellow one. So I'm going to make a vertical line and the front face that's this one. Let's see if I can hold this and draw at the same time. That's this face right here and then there's a face right here. Actually this is goes back too, right? One, two. All right. Then that's the top of the yellow one. Goes down, and then it goes two up from there. Two, one, two. Then we draw the top to the white one and come down one block. Yes, and then we we have to come over. Now I might have made a mistake here, right? Because this is there's the green block. Next to it is the orange block. It looks like hmm, maybe I made a mistake. I don't know. And then that orange block has another orange block next to it. And then it comes down there. Right across there. This one is this edge here. There, there's a line. That's in between the white and orange. And like that. Now, if I color this in better, let's color it like again, the ones that are parallel. This is the yellow and blue. This is the same parallel face to the white one, which is parallel to this face. The top ones will be here, here, and here. And the ones left over, those are all parallel. And that actually, that line probably would have been better not being there. It goes through and down, parallel to that. 
Okay, next time I see you in class, we'll be making some drawings and some isometric figures, both orthographic and isometric. Okay, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow or next day.